hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see microservices architecture so in the past you know we have been using the monolithic application model where you know uh, all the modules in the application that will be in the single code base so let's say uh, if there is a user database and uh, there is a order module let's say if uh, this is the e-commerce application and uh, it has uh, multiple modules and uh, there will be a different developers who will be working on each of this module but at the end all these modules will be into a single code base which is a you know application that will be accessing by the customers let's say when you know you're making some changes to any of this module for example if you are working on the uh, the order uh, the product order module and uh, in case uh, after the changes made we don't know if that will cause any issues with the other module and also you need to test the all the modules to make sure this application is working properly but whereas in the microservices each business functionality is a service and all these you know modules are decoupled so you can you know make changes to each of these modules uh, you know separately that won't you know cause any issues to the other modules so let's say if the user or the customer they are you know searching for the product then they can use you know the search service and uh, if they are going to purchase the product then it will be you know contacting to this purchase module so uh, there will not be any issues even if any one of this module or service failed then still the other modules will work without any issues so uh, each service in the microservices is self-contained it will not have any dependencies and each service implementation will have a specific business function and uh, it has a separate code base that is you know managed by the separate development team and uh, each service you know normally persist with the own data store and uh, in this microservice architecture this application will be the presentation layer and uh, through this api management it will call each of the service module when the customer they you know search for any product then through the api management it will contact the search module and when they are going to you know purchase the order purchase any product then it will call the purchase module to place the order and there are some advantages and disadvantages for this microservices like it is a agile methodology and it has the smaller code base and uh, we can you know mix and match with the different technologies for each module or the service and uh, we can you know find the fault isolation and there are some you know disadvantages as well like the complexity of managing the code base and testing the governance since it is the bigger uh, you know code base and uh, it will be a data integrity okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you